Hi kids! Welcome back for another read along. Today we're going to be reading Little Grey's Great Migration since it is under the sea week. So let's go ahead and get started. Little Grey popped his head above the water to look for his favorite thing. There it was. A boat full of people was on its way into the lagoon. Little Grey always greeted the people the same way. First, he went right up to the boat for a head rub. Mmm. Next, he blasted bubbles out of his blowhole. Burble, burble. Then he hit the water with his flukes. Slap, slap, slap. Finally, Little Grey jumped as high as he could and smack. The people clapped and shouted. Snap, snap, snap went their cameras. One morning, Mama Grey wouldn't let Little Grey greet the people. It's time for us to swim to the special sea that's filled with food, said Mama. Why? asked Little Grey. There's plenty for me to eat here. After all, he ate as much as Mama's milk as he wanted. The special sea is where you'll learn to eat like a grown-up well, said Mama. It's also where we'll make our blubber extra thick before winter, when there's hardly any food. Little Grey hurried to follow Mama out of the lagoon, but he looked back the boats the whole time. The ocean was cold and deep. It was so dark, Little Grey could barely see. Sometimes they stopped for Little Grey to drink milk. Sometimes they stopped to rest. But mostly they swam. They swam all day and all night. It was hard work and nothing like the lagoon. Little Grey missed the people so much. The more he thought about this, the sadder he became. And the slower he swam. Up ahead, land stuck out into the water right in their path. What should we do? asked Little Grey. He hoped they would have to go back to the lagoon. We'll have to swim around it, said Mama. Little Grey sighed. But as they swam closer to the land, Little Grey saw something above the waves. People! Little Grey was so excited he jumped as high as he could. Smack! The crowd gathered. Snap, 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 went their cameras. Little Grey jumped again and again. He hadn't known there would be people along the way to the special sea. As they continued on, people watched the Little Grey from lighthouses and docks, beaches and boats. The more people he saw, the happier he became and the faster he swam. But then, everything changed. Days went by without seeing any people, and then weeks. Little Grey got sadder and sadder and swam slower and slower until he stopped. But Mama didn't notice. Soon Little Grey couldn't see her in the dark waters. Mama, squeaked Little Grey. He didn't know which way to go. The water was very quiet. Where was she? Then Little Grey heard something. Knock, knock, knock. Little Grey swam toward the knocking sounds. There was Mama. As he got closer to her, Little Grey noticed something strange. Mama's sides were sinking in. Mama, you look different. Little Grey said. My blubber is getting very thin, said Mama. Little Grey thought about this. Back in the lagoon, there hadn't been any grown-up whale food for Mama. On their journey, Mama had only eaten a few mouthfuls of krill and amphipods here and there. Little Grey had been drinking milk this whole time, but Mama had barely eaten in months. From that moment on, Little Grey didn't think about missing the people. He only thought about Mama getting to the special sea. The more he thought about this, the faster he swam. They swam faster and faster, and they were getting closer and closer when, oh no, said Little Grey. Up ahead, a huge piece of land stuck out into the water, blocking their way. Little Grey knew Mama was too weak to make it all the way around the land. There's a secret passage, said Mama. It's a shortcut to the special sea. But I'm so hungry, I'm having trouble remembering where it is. I'll find it, said Little Grey. Little Grey swam back and forth along the land. It all looked the same. What if he couldn't find the passage? Then Little Grey heard something. It was the knocking and popping sounds of hundreds of other Grey Wells. Little Grey followed the sounds a little farther. There it was! He'd found the passage. As they entered the passage, everything changed. The water got greener, the clicks got louder, the passage got wider. Then it opened up to the vast sea. Right away, Mama dove down to the bottom. Little Grey followed. Mama sucked up a big mouthful of mud. 
Mama used her tongue to push the mud out through her baleen. Swoosh! When Mama opened her mouth, Little Gray could hardly believe what was inside. Mama swallowed it all with one big gulp. Little Gray decided to try. He sucked up a mouthful of mud. Swoosh! Gulp! It was pretty different from milk, but yum. Little Gray popped his head above the water to look around. A sea lion clapped her flippers together. Whap! A gull flying above Little Gray squawked. Caw! A beluga whale sent a big bubble toward Little Gray. Bloop! Why, this might be more fun than the lagoon. Little Gray blasted bubbles out of his blowhole. Burble, burble. Then he hit the water with his flukes. Slap, slap, slap. Finally, Little Gray jumped as high as he could. Smack. That's the end of our story. So right here is just extra information um, about whales and fun facts that you guys can pause the video and read through it if you want. And then on the next page is a migration map, whale food. Again, just more information if you guys want. There's even a little quiz down here at the bottom. And that's the end. I'll see you again next week with another story. Bye!